Back here in the capital with a growing number of Bahamian families facing hunger amid the economic uncertainty sparked by COVID-19, the Bahamas Feeding Network is continuing to be an avenue for hungry Bahamians to turn to. Thanks to a generous donor, the agency's executive director says they can now do even more. Cleopatra Murphy has the story. An anonymous donor is making it possible for the Bahamas Feeding Network to feed thousands of Bahamian families in need after donating $100,000 to the relief agency. The agency has now rented the former island seafood for the next several months, and on Thursday, the facility was bustling as volunteers packed food parcels with everything from grits, rice, sugar, corned beef, cornflakes, and more that Executive Director Philip Smith says is intended to supply a family of four for a week. Those parcels were being distributed to the Feeding Network's partner ministries that Executive Director Philip Smith says would be distributed to families in their communities. We are going to distribute those hopefully continually for the next um, three, four, five months. So we have changed our model. Um, you know that we were cooking and distributing 6,000 meals per week and also doing probably two to 300 parcels weekly. So that model has been changed in order to adhere to the social distancing. So we have now moved entirely to parcels and gift cards. So we are giving, um, last week we gave out $40,000 in gift cards um, and another $20,000 in food parcels. So today we will give out $75,000 in food parcels. That's between today and tomorrow. Today, here at this location, we just um, got this new location and the warehouse is here where we were, could not accommodate the amount of um, items that we had. Smith says the week prior, the organization distributed $40,000 in gift cards and $20,000 in food parcels. This week, the aim is to distribute $75,000 in food. Smith says the agency has also implemented new measures where clients will now have to fill out an application that will go to the National Food Security Task Force to prevent people from taking advantage of the system. For our purposes, helps in that this donor who is anonymous could, for example, we will give him all of the person's names and addresses and everything of persons that we would have donated to. He could then go and check to see, yes, did in fact these people get these parcels. So it gives them, it makes, it, um, it gives them the security or the comfort that their money is going where they wanted it to go. Smith says he is hopeful it will encourage more donors to give, especially since the agency has seen a marked increase in families seeking food assistance since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. He says phones have been ringing nonstop. We have a group of individuals that just dealing with that part of it where the um, persons that call, we get them to complete application. So we have three persons, two to three persons just dealing with that part of it. So yes, the demand is definitely despite tremendous Operator of Ruby's Kitchen, Ruby Ann Darling, says she is thankful for her partnership with the Feeding Network and gets joy from assisting those in need. I take a delight. For me, it's ministry to pull up to somebody and see and that boy say, who sent you God? I had to send you, look, there's nothing here. And uh, I think the joy is in giving and to see the joy that is given to those that receive. Other ministry partners also weighed in on the importance of the feeding initiative, encouraging other Bahamians to lend a hand to the less fortunate. We had to assist as well to get food out to those in need because it's one of the commandments of Jesus to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, visit them in prison, be the fathers to the fatherless and to the widows and the orphans. See your brother standing by the way. If you see your sister standing by the way, with a heavy load, you stop and say, you got to show a little kindness. Smith says those who are interested in donating to help feed other hungry families can go to the agency's website, www.bahamasfeedingnetwork.org. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.